Hello to you from ChemHelp ASAP. In this video, we will go into some detail on patents, a key type of intellectual property for the pharmaceutical industry. Upon completion of this video, students will be able to describe composition of matter patents, define freedom to operate, list additional common drug patents, and describe a patent wall. The first patent type we'll cover is the composition of matter patent. A composition of matter patent lists the types of molecules that are being researched and expected to have promising biological activity. The number of molecules can be huge, even in the millions. The listed molecules form the claims of the patent, and the text of the patent must provide some indication of which molecules are likely better than others. This is a key part of the disclosure of the patent. Composition of matter patents are typically filed around the time of animal efficacy studies in preclinical research. At this stage, researchers will likely understand the value of the project, which will justify securing the protection of patent filing. Why do composition of matter patents include so many potential molecules? The breadth of the patent claims gives a discovery team more freedom to operate, or FTO. Why do you need freedom to operate? First, remember that the claims are written during preclinical research. Subsequent research may reveal previously unknown safety issues or other problems. These problems might require changes to the planned drug. Well-written, broader claims can accommodate changes that might be necessary. Broader claims also help keep competitors at arm's length by forcing them to be more creative if they want to use your patent disclosure to jumpstart their own research program. Note that as more and more patents for small molecule drugs are filed, intellectual property space around some types of molecules is becoming very crowded. Obtaining freedom to operate in a drug project is sometimes a challenge. There are other important patent types beyond the composition of matter patent. There are formulation patents that protect innovations of drug formulation, perhaps a vital pill coating or ratios of ingredients within the formulation. There are dosing patents in cases that require a very particular dosing regimen to ensure safety and efficacy of the drug. You can even patent the synthetic method used to prepare the final drug or a key intermediate. The design or invention of a new formulation or dosing protocol will not be discovered until a compound advances into clinical trials, so these types of patents are generally filed well after a composition of matter patent. All the patents for a drug program form something called a patent wall, which protects the invention from competitors. The patent wall does include patents, but can also include other IP, like trade secrets. Of all these protections, the composition of matter patent is typically the strongest protection, though its protection often expires first, as the composition of matter patent is often the first to be filed. We have now covered various aspects of patents, from composition of matter to formulation and dosing, and discussed how these types of IP create a patent wall around a potential new drug. I hope that the importance of patents for the drug industry is now more clear to you. Please like, subscribe, or leave a comment or question. Take care.